Hey guys, Wolfie here with a special presentation for the City of Final Fantasy Opera Omnia Global for the 9th of June 2020. This is going to be all eyes on RCL and to be more specific, pros and cons. Meaning that she has some good things about her, but she has some flaws too. Now, a few things here and there before I go any further. For um, first, first thing here is that I'm will. Uh, yeah. First things first is that I will have the Twitter handle to the Tom Barry trip in the description below alongside the Dissidia database website link in the description. That's first and foremost. Second, you're going to be hearing a fan in the background because I am looking at my phone a little bit more cautiously due to some possible moisture issues here and there. Third and finally, and above all, this is my opinion, my opinion only. Now, with that bit out of the way, I'm going to get into some other information regarding her kids a little bit later in the video. Now, with that out, out, out of the way, we're we'll just jump straight into the meat of the video, which is Arciella the Aldolin from Final Fantasy XI. She brings in an excellent bag of tricks, more specifically, the Jill of all traits type. I Meaning that she does a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of something else, and effectively. And this is something I have to admit because I am as anti-meta as they come. However, she has her fair share of flaws, and some of them concern me more than you think. But, again, like I said, this is my opinion, my opinion only. So we're going to go into her kit to showcase what I mean here. So we have here... Oh, let me grab this real quick. Is <laughs> we have here skill one, skill two, EX, and her um, additional ability. I will admit that I was pressured a little bit to pull on this banner by some folks on Facebook. But with that out of the way, so this is going to be after you get to her to Crystal Strength level 70. So you have here five uses of her skill one, Ascension, and Expunge Magic. Five uses of skill 2, Descension and Sight Unseen. Her EX ability is not Qual's Vengeance. I believe I mispronounced that pretty badly. And then her additional ability is Ability, Recovery, Attack All. So, she, again, she's excellent at what she does. So, she has a good number of frame bullets. However, you have to exercise some degree of caution... When it comes to the remaining party members. And by that, the either the unframed buffs or certain frame buffs. You just don't want to have too many of frame too many frame buffs on her to where if you have her with Lena in the same team, RCL could still be um, prone to debuffs, whereas Lena is not. And you have to take the that type of hint rather seriously so you have to be careful with the party composition because of the potential buffs regardless if it's framed or not framed now the thing is with rcl and regarding um the number of uses you do have to practice some degree of micromanaging especially if you plan on using her beyond her events the reason why you have to exercise some degree of manage management with her skills is again she only has six uses and by by six uses this includes the usage of the ability recovery attack all which is her aa meaning they have six uses of skill one six uses of skill two guaranteed now when you get her ex of realized in at least two out of three you get a seventh use of one random ability of your choosing so, you really do have to practice sub-format of micromanagement. So, the whole thing with, with the whole thing with the explanation with, if you put her with the same team with Lena, it does bring into another weakness of RCLs, and this is some of the information I am applying from the infographic by the Tom Barry Troop, and that is, as a support unit, Arcella alone will not be enough. Her fast cast um, buff only lasts for three turns. Now, I do feel that 
a couple of one of the solutions would be have her paired up with the second support unit or the second support unit can extend the duration of the buffs giving her a little bit more time and there are four notable units who can extend the, uh, the duration of buffs for those four being Saz, Hope, Aiko, and Yuna. And unless those, I mean, yeah, unless she's with another support unit, Arcella alone will, will not be enough. So for the team composition, this could be good, this could be bad. It depends on the individual player. It's a support, support. DPS, meaning that our CL is one support, the second support could be whoever, and with one DPS unit. Now, what is there anything else you want to go into the, here, Wolfie? And I do. Now, the thing is with her particular kit, it actually comes back in a future event, and it's supposedly around the time where VD gets his rework and EX realization. As well as Leon's second rework and his EX gets realized. Now, for some people saying pull on RCL and now, it's not a bad idea, but it's also not that great of an idea either. And the reason why I say the timing is not the best idea for everybody to say pull on her now is due to the fact that Global does not have a free multi pull for the most of the month mean that we all have to exercise a good amount of resource management. Considering every banner going forward will be at, well actually let me let me re, let me let me correct myself here right here and now. <laughs> so every banner until Trey's global debut and Trey is coming should be somewhere in the July calendar is that Trey's banner will be the final banner where it is a double EX weapon banner because most the majority of the banners after his, if not all of them, will be a triple EX weapon banner. So, the thing is with Arciella, her entire kit does come back in approximately a few months. Now, another thing is that her e there is going to be another update to the EX weapon shop. And this particular update is going to have every last EX weapon available in the game. And this gets updated with every new character. So this does um, have people a bit uh, feeling duped, in my personal opinion. So I think it's, a bad, it's just bad timing by those who are the pro the pro meta fanatics in my personal opinion now with that bit all out of the way i mean uh, she is she's an excellent unit i will say that much but the fact that people are saying pull on her now it's just extremely bad timing and this is again for the reasons that one her kit does come back in the near future and two her ex weapon alone does come back on in a future update for the EX weapon shop. Now to get back into um, the strengths and weaknesses, it's a good thing that her EX has a fast recharging speed because she is one of those characters who is among the most reliant on it. Characters like Setzer from Final Fantasy VI, Vayne from Final Fantasy XII, Gestola from Final Fantasy XIV, Dark Knight Saiso from Final Fantasy IV, and set up for Final Fantasy Type-0 have a very similar issue and for similar reasons. And like those that I've mentioned, Arciella has to have her EX weapon, otherwise she's going to run out of steam fast. So, to do a bit of a recap here before I sign off, is that Arciella, she's excellent. The fact that she has a fast recharging speed for her EX kind of saves her in several regards. And what's really special about her is that her having frayed buffs, she's going to be a pain in the ass to dispel. But even with all the good that she provides to the team at this stage of the game, 
The frame buffs do are, 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 are in fact a bit concerning because you have others who have potentially more potent debuffs. But that you have others who have potentially more potent buffs than RCLs. And the fact that she is one of those who has to rely on her EX, it's like uh, you have to really micromanage her skills. And my biggest worry here, above all, is that the team composition that she's that she's at her best with, which is support, support, DPS, it kind of puts in some form of limitation, in my personal opinion. But you know what? I'll say that she is excellent. And I, but I do have to admit once again that I was pressured a bit into pulling on her banner, and this is because she was already in the air for me. But it's now forcing me to skip on a few other banners. Because the next banner I will be going into is Athenos. So with that, I'm going to get going for, for the moment. Um, the next video for the, the City of Final Fantasy Opera Omnia, I don't have any idea what that's going to be and when. It might be the, um, the aftermath of the um, upcoming um, Twitch stream. I will have to play this one by out by ear though. Um and that's um that's that on that. So with Wolfie here signing off, I will catch you all on the flip side.